What's up, YouTube? Back again with my boy, Brandon. What's up, guys? We just grabbed lunch again. You're heading up to California. When are you leaving? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Leaving tomorrow. So I wanted to hang out with my buddy uh, one day before he left. Uh, I'm not moving there, his... so don't worry. Not moving. He'll be back. I'm just, just saying. I won't see him for a little bit. I think he's headed to the Napa Valley. Yep. Go drink some wine. Beautiful country out there. Um, but today we're going to talk about a, a fragrance that I got in a sale. Uh, shout out to my, my guy, Connie who gave me a great deal on a bunch of fragrances, and this is one of them. From the house of DS and Durga, we have Italian Citrus, guys. And this is a, um, probably be a first uh, 15 episode, maybe not. A, my, we'll see how it goes. I mean, yeah. we'll just start off with this being a first 15, and then we'll move on to, you know, a longer sort of uh, update. If not, I'll give you guys a quick update like I've been doing uh, here recently just with, with the quicker updates. But, so this is Italian cit Citrus from the House of Diaz and Durga. It is a men's citrus fragrance released in 2011, uh, which I thought this house was newer than that, but I guess it's been around for a long time. No, they've been around, yeah. Uh, the nose behind this fragrance is David Seth Maltz, and it is an Eau de Parfum concentration, even though on Fragranica it said something cologne, Eau de Cologne. Um, and they describes this as a, this as a Washman's cologne, which Kind of reminds me of that 1711 or whatever, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like that yeah. big giant bottle. That's probably what they meant by cologne. It's like that style. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember that when they said that people back in the day, they, they would dump like, they'd get like the 450 mil thing yeah. and dump it in a, in a uh, on a thing and, you know, put it on their neck or whatever. Um, so yeah, and, and Brandon said he's contemplated buying this one. So I'm actually doing you a little bit of a favor to see if you yeah, like this one or not. That's good. Um, grab it. So the notes in this fragrance, Brandon, if you like to tell these fine folks what notes are in this fragrance. Sure. So we have citruses, blood orange, ambret, musk, bitter orange, mandarin orange, green notes, and amalfi lemon. And it's funny because it started off with citruses and then it proceeds then it lists to all the lists all these different citruses. So I don't know what citruses they left out versus which ones they put in, but hey, it sounds really good. A lot of different uh, kinds of orange. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. So uh, yeah, the uh, but it is another parfum, so hopefully it does last. We'll see how, how it goes. I didn't read up too much on this fragrance. I do like the bottle though. That is cool. It has a, this. Yeah, their bottles are cool. Yeah. Yeah, it sort of reminds me of another house that had like this black piece on top, and but their top was like slanted like that. Don't remember that name of that house, but yeah. So, but yeah, cool looking bottle. Um, so yeah, let's give this fragrance a first impression. All right, here we go. As always, gonna give Brandon the honors of spraying his strip first. I'm gonna spray my hand like I normally do. Okay, I'm gonna try go. not to breathe in through my nose here, so I don't get anything. No previews. Mm -hmm. There it goes. All right. Clean hand here. Sorry if you guys can hear my um, really good sprayer on this one. AC, but it's really hot outside. So uh, another reason why I wanted to wear this fragrance today or try this one. Okay. Um, Super citrusy, obviously. Yes. Very citrusy. Getting a little very bit of that bitter. Clean. Getting a little bit of that bitterness. This does not smell like it's going to last very long. <laughs> they, they normally <laughs> don't. I mean, Washman's cologne, honestly, that should have really informed me when I read that in the description on Forganica, because that usually means, yeah, it's going to last like 10 minutes or something. Yeah. This is nice, though. I mean, just super clean and fresh. Yeah. Super, super nice. I mean, for especially for a hot day like today, this is going to smell great. This is something I would imagine wearing to, like, the pool, though, not, like, mm -hmm. doing anything. Yeah, this is definitely a summer fragrance. Uh, it does smell Italian citrus. I mean, it's in the name. That's what you're getting. You're getting a, a ton of citruses here. Uh, again, not even including the citruses. You got blood orange, bitter orange, mandarin orange, and a mouthy lemon. Definitely get the lemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the lemon is very prominent. Uh, the green notes are in here. It smells a little bit, a little Neroli Portofino-ish, a little bit. You know, not exact, but I'm getting a little bit when I breathe out through my nose. A little powdery too. Yeah. I mean, I sort of feel like it has a little bit of strength. I mean, you're on a, you're on the strip, and I just put like three big sprays on my hand, so maybe there's a bit of a difference with that. Well, the citruses will pop for five minutes or so. Yeah. There's something in this that makes me think it's like some sweet thickness to it that's making me think it's going to last a little bit longer. But again, time will tell, and I'll let these fine folks know here in a little bit later. But yeah, it smells nice. I mean, it's it, nice. It's it's, uh, it's hard to describe because it's you know just fresh and clean. Yeah. I mean, inoffensive. You're not gonna, uh, definitely not gonna offend anybody like, like I just said. No. But yeah, definitely inoffensive. Um, safe. Very safe. I yeah. mean, I like it though. I mean, this is something that would be easy, dumb reach. Yeah. Especially for us in this heat. 
There's definitely something in this that, to my nose anyway, makes me think of slightly old school. Something in this gives it a bit of an old school vibe, but not really that much. Just a touch. But, um, yeah, again, this, this is going to be kind of an easy, uh, yeah, an easy I mean, first half of the video because... Very straightforward. And pretty much a, probably an easy second half of the video, too. The name is what you get. Yeah. And I'm guessing the just, you know, the citruses are um, coming from Italy. And it's pretty... Well, Amalfi's in Italy. Yeah. The lemon, so... Well, I mean, this is... It's already, like, pretty dry... Uh, faded on the strip. Oh, really? So, I don't know. Well, I will say that Amalfi lemons, if, if I saw the picture online correctly, I mean, these things were, like, massive. They look like big, giant footballs. These lemons are huge. So, I don't know if there's more... Zest, known for. yeah. I mean, I there's no more zest or just more sun, more pop with those big giant football lemons, but yeah. I mean, again, good fragrance. Yeah, uh, definitely gonna enjoy wearing this one today because right now my car says it's 96 outside and I think it's like uh, one, two o'clock. So it's, it's gonna only, get only gonna get hotter. So it's gonna be a perfect fragrance for that. So yeah, that was our first impressions of Italian citrus from the house of DS and Durga. Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below. If I get an update on this fragrance. I'll, I'll, you know, let you guys know here in a sec. Uh, but if not, you know, you guys pretty much know the story of this one. Uh, but yeah, if the dry down gets any better, I'll give you guys an update shortly. But uh, Brandon, have a safe trip. Thanks. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Just want to bring you guys a quick update on the Italian citrus from the house of DS and Durga. Uh, it's been a couple of days. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, say that that opening is, is fantastic. Uh, very fresh. Uh, we did sort of chuckle at the fact that it said it you know, had citruses in it, but then it also went ahead and named a few other citruses. I'm not really sure what the difference was, but I guess maybe they're just trying to be specific on what region uh, the citruses were from. But um, overall, it was a decent smelling fragrance. Uh, I guess my only gripe about this fragrance was the dry down. Uh, it's very musky and clean smelling, almost like um, if you were to take like the like linen smell that you find like in most like Glade or like a candle, you know, Glade sprays like a candle, that, that linen kind of smell. It kind of has a little bit of that linen smell mixed with musk, which it's it's okay. It's not, the, it's not bad. It just smells, uh, I wish it just kept that citrusy opening throughout the life of the fragrance. So to me, got a little boring after that. Um, there is decent longevity with this fragrance. I will say, when I sprayed my hand, it stayed oily and shiny for a long, long time. Um, the only problem is the, the um, projection wasn't that great with this fragrance. So even though it hung around on my hand and I could smell it on my hand six hours later, um, it was that linen, clean, musky smell thing that I got that I wasn't a big fan of. Um, the opening, I wish just lasted the entire, uh, length of the fragrance. We, we all know that, uh, most citrus fragrances don't, uh, last very long. So they did the best they could with that. You know, the, the opening was fantastic. Um, and unfortunately it went to that dry down that I wasn't a big fan of, uh, but it does last. So if you do, if you do like that dry down, it, it lasts, uh, the remainder of the life. But, uh, again, this is 155 bucks for 50 mil. That's quite a bit of money for this little bottle. I'm sure you can find a deal somewhere else out there. Um, but I, you know, for the price, I don't think this is really worth uh, pulling the trigger on. Maybe if you can get a sample, try it out. Um, but I will say not a bad fragrance. Again, if you get a, a cheaper price, you can give it a try. If you can get a sample, definitely pick up a sample of this one before you go out there and just blind buy this one because I wasn't a big fan. Uh, again, love the opening but didn't like the dry down. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video on my channel. If you liked this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for future first impressions videos and for excited content just like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Dollars and Cents. There, you'll find first excited photos and future contest winners. And as always, till next video, you guys take care. Thanks.